Hey guys, it's Idle Mod Bro, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up Idle Mod Bro Live. I just released version two, so I want to show you guys how to set that up and try to resolve some of the issues that you guys have been having. So the first thing you guys want to do to set up Idle Mod Bro Live is go to the website. I'll have a link in the description, but you should come to a page that looks a lot like this because this is the page you should see. Uh, go ahead and scroll down, or you can click come to the dark side, or you can click add time, or whatever. But that will bring you down to here, where it says uh, add yourself. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do right here is just type in your name. So I'm I don't mod bro, and my CPU key. And once you, you can go ahead and get your CPU key. If you guys don't know how to get your CPU key, just YouTube it. There's literally tons of tutorials out there, guys. So, But once you have your CPU key, go ahead and put it there and click Add Yourself. That should take you to an AdFly ad. Go ahead and wait five seconds for this AdFly ad, and then click Skip Ad. And then that will bring you back to Idle Mod Bro Live. And as you see, now we have three days. So if you guys need to change your name, you can just click your name, and then you can change it. So if we change it, and then I reload the page, as you see, my name changes. So there's inline editing, so you guys can just edit your name right there. Um, and then same thing with your CPU key. You guys can edit your CPU key right in line as well if you guys messed that up. So once you guys have time, go ahead and click Download XEX. That will bring you to an AdFly ad, and that will take you back to that will take you to a mega or a mega link. The mega link will lead you here. Uh, once you have this file right here, right here, uh, if you open up this, you should see a README and a root files folder. Uh, if you open up the README, it just says put all files from the root files folder onto the root of your Xbox 360 hard drive. So if we open that up, here's all the files right here. If you guys just select all those files and pull them onto your Xbox, uh, my Xbox isn't on and I don't have neighborhood running. But that's really all you guys have to do is just grab all that stuff and put it in the neighborhood and then restart your Xbox when it's done and you guys should be up and running. And then when you guys run out of time, uh, I'll show you guys what to do when you guys run out of time. Okay guys, so when you need to add time, you can come back to the website here and as you see it says I have zero days left and there will be an add time button. Sometimes it will say you have no, date, no days left. Yeah, see so you have no time left. And just go ahead and click add time. And once again, it will say if nothing happens, click here. Uh, something obviously happened. Go ahead and wait five seconds for the ad to skip. And click skip ad. And we should have three more days. So there we go, guys. As you see, we now have three more days. And we can jump back on the server and we'll be good for another three days. So when you guys run out of time, all you guys have to do is just come back and re-add yourself every three days. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys are enjoying version 2.0. And I hope you guys are enjoying the new Black Ops 3 band bypass and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And later, guys.